Hi everyone. You are watching the My Brain Learning channel. Our topic for today is about forward reverse motor control which is also another type of electric motor control. Its application includes the conventional electric control for elevators and its door mechanism. The forward reverse control is also applicable in the electric roll-up doors, reversing industrial conveyors, and others. It requires two magnetic contactors in order to have forward and reverse function for the electric motor. As discussed in the introduction of the electric motor in the across line motor control, let us have a short description of the basic parts of the forward reverse motor control. A circuit breaker which interrupts the flow of current in case of a ground fault. Two start push buttons, in color green, which starts the flow of current in the circuit and will be used for the forward and reverse rotation of the electric motor. One stop push button, in color red, which will stop running the electric motor while running in the forward or reverse rotation. Two magnetic contactors which are the switching device that connect or interrupt the current to the electric motor or any electrical equipment by electromagnetically means. In the conventional forward reverse electric motor control, the reverse rotation cannot be done by pressing the reverse push button due to the electrical interlock wherein the normally closed contact of the other magnetic contactor will open the current path going to its magnetic coil. Both are applied whether it is running in forward or reverse rotation of the electric motor to prevent the simultaneous flow of current to the both magnetic coil of each magnetic contactor. It also has an overload relay which is a device that protects the motor from the excess current. Overload current can be set from 15% to 25% above the full load current depending on the electric motor specification. Pilot lamps which are the lights installed on the electric control panel. In our example, we will only use the two green pilot lamps for the forward and reverse rotation of the electric motor. Also to be used is one orange pilot lamp for the fault condition of the electric motor which will be also provided by buzzer. And lastly, limit switch is a device that is used to stop or reverse the direction of the controlled part of a machine. There are two limit switches for each forward and reverse rotation. Let us now go to the two portions of its schematic diagrams. In the power control diagram, the three pole circuit breaker is connected between the voltage sources of line 1, line 2, line 3, and the magnetic contactor. In the R control circuit diagram, Next to the circuit breaker is the overload relay is by connecting the line 1 to the normally closed contact of the overload relay in series with the stop push button. The normally open contact of the overload relay is connected in series from the load side of the circuit breaker to the fault pilot lamp. The limit switches for the forward and reverse rotation will then be connected common to the other terminal of the stop push button. The other terminal of the forward limit switch is connected to the forward push button common to the normally open auxiliary contact of the magnetic contactor. The other terminal of the normally open auxiliary contact will be connected to the other terminal of the forward push button. From the terminal of the forward push button common to the normally open auxiliary contact will be connected to the terminal of the normally closed auxiliary contact of the reverse magnetic contactor. The other terminal of the normally closed auxiliary contact will then be connected to the forward magnetic coil left side terminal. The other terminal of the magnetic coil will be connected to the load side line 2 of the circuit breaker. The forward pilot lamp is then connected in parallel with the magnetic coil terminal of the forward magnetic contactor. The other terminal of the reverse limit switch will be connected to the normally open contact of the reverse magnetic contactor in common with the reverse push button. The bottom terminal of the normally open contact of the reverse magnetic contactor will then be connected to the reverse push button common to the upper terminal of the normally closed auxiliary contact of the magnetic contactor. The lower terminal of the normally closed auxiliary contact of the magnetic contactor will then be connected to the left terminal of the magnetic coil common to the terminal of the reverse pilot lamp. 
the right side terminal of the magnetic coil of the reverse magnetic contactor will then be connected to the other terminal of the reverse pilot lamp. The load side of the circuit breaker will be connected to the upper terminal of the forward magnetic contactor then the lower terminal of the forward magnetic contactor will be connected to the upper terminal of the overload relay. The lower terminal of the overload relay will then be connected to the electric motor. Line 1 color will be used as red. Line 2 color will be yellow while blue for line 3. The lower main terminal of the forward magnetic contactor will be connected to the lower main contact of the reverse magnetic contactor wherein the yellow wire will remain connected to line 2 while line 1 and line 3 will be interchanged in the connections. The fault lamp will be connected in series with the buzzer and will then be connected to the line 2 of the circuit breaker load side. The upper terminals of the main contacts of both the forward and reverse magnetic contactors will be connected to each other common to the load side of the circuit breaker. Before we proceed with the operation of the forward reverse motor control diagram, let us proceed with the example on the conventional elevator. Consider the upward direction as the forward rotation of the electric motor while the downward direction is the reverse rotation. The limit switches have two wire terminals connected to the motor control terminal as shown in the picture. A limit switch acts as the same way as the stop push button which interrupts the flow of current through the magnetic coil of the magnetic contactor. Its movable lever opens its internal electrical contact when it is hit by the external object, causing a disconnection from the power source of the electric motor. When the external object in contact with the movable lever was removed, the electrical path will then be closed again which will allow the flow of current if the start push is pushed whether it is forward or reverse one at a time. The hoisted upward or downward enclosure of the elevator is called as the elevator car. If you push the forward push button, the elevator car goes in the upward direction. Upon hitting the movable lever of the limit switch at the upper floor, this will stop the running electric motor. From the stop condition, the lower ground destination of the elevator car can only be done upon pressing the reverse push button. If the movable lever of the limit switch was hit by the contact rod above the elevator car, this will also stop upon reaching the destination floor. To discuss how the forward reverse motor control works, let us start by pressing the forward push button. This will energize the magnetic coil, causing the simultaneous closing of the normally open auxiliary contact while opening its normally closed contact in series with the magnetic coil of the reverse magnetic contactor to prevent it from energizing during the forward running condition. Furthermore, upon energizing the magnetic coil, the main contacts of the forward magnetic contactor will also close thus running the electric motor in forward rotation. During the forward or reverse running condition, changing the rotation can only be done by pressing the stop push button thus cutting the flow of current through the magnetic coil. This may also be done by the movement of the level of the limit switch in such a way that internal electrical contact will open the current path. Upon pressing the stop push button, the electric motor will now stop. If we press the reverse push button, the magnetic coil of the reverse magnetic contactor will then be energized which also simultaneously closes its normally open contact and opens its normally closed contact in series with the forward magnetic coil which prevents the flow of current. In this case, the reverse rotation of the electric motor will then be observed. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you will like this video. Click the notification bell so that you will not miss the new videos to watch. Please like, share and subscribe to my brain learning channel.